Hello, and welcome to your appointment. <laughs> I was hoping today we could go in-depth on certain topics, if you wouldn't mind. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about at all. There is zero judgment here at my office. Why don't you take a seat among my coils? You can pick any of the great spooling lengths you wish to sit upon. There you go. <laughs> I notice when I do offer you a seat, you tend to pick the thickest of my coils to sit down on. I suppose that makes a lot of sense. It does have the most padding. But I can't help but wonder if it has a little bit of a connection to some of your other proclivities. Hmm. Yes, that's right. Today we're going to talk about Vor, and specifically your interest in it. Now, now, there's no need to blush, no need to blush whatsoever. So long as it breaks no laws and hurts no living creature, there is literally no proclivity you could have that would make me judge you. You are more than your fetishes. You are a person that contains multitudes. You're greater than any one aspect of yourself, and you should believe that. But... I do find exploring the things we enjoy can help us get a more broad sense of ourselves as a person. I find that, in general, people often bury their true selves under societal expectation and the general way the world works, and as they get older, it is not finding themselves that they do, but more rediscovering themselves. And one of the most core bedrock aspects of ourselves tends to be our sexuality and the things that we enjoy. Now, outside of sexuality, kinks can be a great indicator of the sorts of things we might be missing in life, or the sorts of things that we might crave. If I had to conjecture where your own interest in Vor might come from, generally it is either one of two or a mixture between these reasons. One, you often find yourself feeling overwhelmed by the various hurdles and foibles of life. This is not weakness, this is humanity, and often, in response to that, we want to give up power to some other being, to give ourselves over totally. It is a dominance and a submissiveness that factors into almost every interest that exists in the universe. People who often go for this sort of war tend to like the more, shall we say, predatory sorts of war, the more one-sided sorts of outings, and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you prefer. But often, at the core of this, there is wanting to take your agency in the world and all of those somewhat crippling choices away in one foul swoop in an intimate fantasy. The other case is often a lack of touch. We find, particularly in the modern world, that we're going more and more in an isolating kind of direction as far as sociality goes. This can often leave people without a lot of human contact, or, in my case, Naga contact. Generally, if this is the impetus for an interest in war, your main sort of enjoyment of it is the thought of being surrounded by someone. A warm hug in which no inch of you is spared that slick, warm sort of touch. These two things are not mutually exclusive by any means. You could be anywhere on the spectrum, because nothing in this universe is an absolute binary. In any case, I want you to think about this in your day-to-day. -day. Explore why you enjoy the things you enjoy, and you will find yourself a more well-rounded person. I think this is important. Often, when we are rediscovering ourselves, we come at it with a sense of otherness, a sense of alienness that isn't ultimately helpful. I think that the thing you need to do is come at discovering yourself with a sense of purpose and a sense of kindness. No matter what you discover in this self-journey, you need to actualize that it is a part of you and it is something that you do deride pleasure from. If you do derive pleasure from it, and it breaks no laws and hurts no one else, then why beat yourself up about it? There's absolutely no reason. Or at least I think so. But then, I might be a little bit biased, as between you and me, 
I skipped lunch. <laughs> In any case, let us not spend this entire appointment pontificating. I've given you homework, let's say. Explore the origins of your interests, the origins of your kink, and find the core kernel of you under all of this, and you will understand what you are looking for, and perhaps be kinder to yourself in the whole. But, for now, since we've talked about Vor, I think we should perhaps participate. <laughs> Why don't I take us to a location with a short induction, and then we can proceed. <laughs> I thought you might enjoy that idea. Hello, Sage here. This audio was originally made with the intent of going up into the shop in its entirety, but I thought that people who enjoy my appointments might enjoy the run-up to this one in particular. If you did, you can purchase the entire audio in the link below. These audios are what allows us to make as much free content as we do, so if you would like to support, then we dearly appreciate it. But if that is not for you, or you can't afford it, then do not feel bad. There are very many free appointments on the channel that will hopefully help you in whatever troubles you're finding yourself having. In the meantime, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>